Your liver may be the most complex organ that you never think about. Just consider its design. Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley, and today I'm going to talk about the thousands of tiny hexagons in your liver called liver lobules. We'll see how they're perfectly shaped for their purpose in the body. So what does your liver do? Among its many functions, it produces proteins and bile, processes and detoxifies chemicals and nutrients in the blood, and acts as a storage site for vitamins and iron. It can also store extra blood if needed, serving as a blood reservoir for the body. Much like your skin, your liver has the ability to regenerate itself after acute injury. In fact, after two thirds of the liver is surgically removed, the organ can grow back to its original size in a matter of days. Unfortunately, the liver is much less successful in repairing chronic repeated damage over time. When damage to the liver exceeds its capacity to regenerate, permanent scarring and cirrhosis can occur. So your liver receives blood from the hepatic artery, which carries oxygen from the lungs and also from the portal vein, which carries deoxygenated blood directly from the gut. What is the liver made up of? Well, it contains 50,000 to 100,000 individual lobules. A lobule is shaped like a hexagon, and at each point of the hexagon, there's a portal vein, hepatic artery, and bile duct. The oxygen depleted blood from the portal vein travels through the low pressure sinusoids where it's filtered before these vessels collectively drain into the central vein at the middle of the lobule. The blood in the central vein then empties into the hepatic veins and finally into the vena cava, which travels back up to the heart. Layers of hepatocytes, which are the main worker cells of the liver, radiate out from the central vein. These cells produce bile, which is an alkaline solution that breaks down the fat that you eat. The bile then flows into these small bile canaliculi, which are sandwiched between hepatocytes, and then finally empties into a bile duct at the perimeter of the lobule. Bile flows away from the central vein while blood in the sinusoids flows towards the central vein. The walls of these sinusoids, these blood vessels in the liver contain large holes which allow proteins and other particles to move from the blood into the adjacent spaces of DISI which contain, contain lymphatic fluid. The lymphatic fluid then carries these particles away in the lymphatic system. But why does the liver contain thousands of hexagons? Hexagons are found throughout nature, like in honeycombs, in the compound eyes of dragonflies, in basalt rock formations, and in layers of bubbles. You can only use three shapes when packing cells together that are the same shape and size so that they all fit closely together. Specifically, you can use triangles, squares, and hexagons. Of the three, a hexagon has the lowest total length of wall, which minimizes the surface tension. In the liver, the hexagonal shape of the lobule also minimizes flow resistance. This allows blood to flow freely from the vessels at the lobule perimeter, this is the blood from the gut, through the sinusoids and into the central vein and eventually into the inferior vena cava where it goes back to the heart. 
The honeycomb design of the liver lobules is perfect to maximize the liver's ability to filter nutrients and waste products out of the blood. It does this by minimizing the resistance to the flow of blood from the guts through the liver and back to the heart. Thank you for listening. I hope that this is helpful for you.